Are you looking for a great campground in Middle to East Tennessee? Well, check out this amazing place that we found here. And if you have not, we invite you to subscribe to the channel down below and ring that notification bell. Also, please like this video and share it out with others on social media. We found this amazing little park here in Middle to East Tennessee. It's right along that line of, of where it would be at. But we wanted to share this place out with everybody because it was absolutely amazing. And you are situated between the Cumberland Mountains and the Smoky Mountains on each side. So that was really cool. You're within driving distance of both areas. So with that, we will get into this tour and and show you what all this campground has to offer. Here we go. Spring Lake RV Resort is located in beautiful Crossville, Tennessee, around four miles off of Interstate 40. The campground is open year-round and has a total of 63 sites. There are five pull-through and 59 back-end sites. 61 of the sites are full hookup offering power, water, and sewer. 57 of the sites also offer 50 amp power plug hookups. The sites are very level and offer many extras. Some of the extras included are concrete pads, firings, tables and chairs, swings at the lakeside sites, and cable TV hookups. The campground also has a catch and release fishing pond and several sitting areas around the little lake as well. They offer restroom, showers, and a laundry for your convenience. The campground also offers offers a clubhouse for guests to hang out in. They have a large trash can area for you to dispose of all your trash or waste as needed. The park is great for bike riding, horseshoes, hiking, local shopping, or just relaxing. It is extremely quiet at this park. The sales service is around two bars on Verizon or AT&T. It was good enough to stream TV or for me to do my job or for anything else you may want to do while you're there as far as internet based. The campground also offers free Wi-Fi that ranges from around 2 megs to 10 megs depending on how close you are to the pole and how many people are using it that day. If you are a golfer, then you will love this park as it is surrounded by several professional golf courses. Crossville has more professional golf courses than any other place in Tennessee. This park is pet friendly but does not have any type of fenced in area for you to let your pets off leash in. That was one of the things that I do hope they add later on because they have plenty of space for it and would be a huge add to this park. The park rates are $38 per night off lake. They're $41 per day on the lake and the monthly rates are around $525 plus electric for off lake and $575 plus electric for on the lake. If you're going to be there monthly, I would highly recommend being on the lake and paying the extra $50. It would be very well worth it. We did not stay on the lake while we were there and I wish we would have. We did not notice any long-term stairs while here so if they're there then they're definitely keeping it up. We did speak to the owners of the park and they really do keep this park ship shape and they make everybody keep their areas clean as well so that is a huge plus the owners are very actively involved and they live on site so that helps out a ton some of the discounts that you can get are triple a good sam military or senior we were able to get a 10 percent discount on our stay through the good sam they also accept many other memberships so if you have something just let them know when you call and definitely take advantage of the discounted stay i will also be sure to include a link to the park below but we do highly recommend this as a place to go visit and stay at if you're coming down I-40 and you're needing a place close to the interstate or just a place to kick back and relax. We love this park. It was very, very nice. So again, if you have not, we invite you to subscribe to the channel down below and ring that notification bell. Also, please like this video and share it out with others on social media. And we will also leave a link to other campground reviews somewhere up here. Leave us a comment down below letting us know what you think about this campground or what you think about campground tours in general. And I want to thank everybody for watching today. Hope you have a great rest of the week. Bye.